one keyboard, one monitor, one mouse, hooked up to four different computers using the Mirabox KVM 4 to 1 switch. I'll test the switch out coming up on Thrifty AV. I want to start with a quick disclaimer that the folks at Mirabox sent over this KVM 4x1 switch as a review sample. They can have the switch back if they want it. I am not being paid for this review and all opinions expressed in this video are my own. Now KVM, that stands for Keyboard Video Mouse. Uh, there are multiple inputs and outputs on this. Let's back up and see what came in the box. Okay, let's see what's in the Mirabox box. Here is the KVM switch, it says 4x1 up here. It says 444 up here, 4K 60 hertz. Here are the switches. Here are the indicator lights to say which PC you're using it with. Here are four USB inputs. That's for the keyboard, that's for the mouse. Okay, here are the USB outputs to four different PCs. Here are the HDMI inputs for the four different video sources. And there is the HDMI out for your monitor. Oh, and barrel jack, 12 volts. Okay, there are four cables here that are USB 2, type A on one side, type B on the other. So that's for connecting the USB devices up to your computer. Here's the power adapter with the barrel connection. And here are instructions. English is the first thing when you open it up. Now I could just do a straightforward four PC hookup with this KVM switch and I'm sure everything would work fine, but I think I'll throw a spanner in the works. I am gonna hook up one modern Windows PC, but my other devices include this old Windows laptop that has a VGA output and I'm using a VGA to HDMI converter. I'm gonna check compatibility with this ThinkPad Chromebook. And a device that might give it some trouble is this Goobangdu Android streaming device. My cable management here is nothing to brag about, but I have all four uh, devices plugged in via HDMI, and this HDMI out is going to my monitor. These four USB outs are going to each of my devices. Here is where I have the mouse and the keyboard plugged in, and just because there's four USB inputs. I went ahead and plugged in a thumb drive as well. I have a correction to make regarding these lights. These do not tell you your current input. They tell you all the active HDMI inputs. This shows that all four inputs have active HDMI signals. The currently active device lights up as you push the button for each input. And these inputs are in reverse order. You would think that input one would be on the furthest left, but it is on the furthest right. Input one, input two, input three, input four. Now input one is my PC. Input two is the old laptop with the VGA out and the HDMI converter. Input three is the Chromebook. And input four is the Goobangdu Android device. Let's check the monitor and see if all four of these are coming in. I am currently on input one. The mouse is working. The keyboard is working. And it detected that thumb drive that I named KVM Test. I'm getting 1920 by 1080. I'm now going to switch to input two. And there is a delay as it switches over. Okay, now it is showing a mirror of my uh, old HP screen here. And it detected the thumb drive. The mouse is working. The keyboard is working. I'm getting 1366 by 768. This laptop is not capable of 1080p. Now let's switch to input three. Again, there's a delay. Input three is my Chromebook. 
and it says removable device detected. That would be the uh, KVM thumb drive, and as you see, the mouse is working. I'm gonna have to launch a web browser here to see if the keyboard works, and the keyboard works. And on the Chromebook, I'm getting 1920 by 1080 at 75 hertz. All right, switching to input four, there is that delay. This is the Goobang Do Android device and it says USB drive connected. As you see, the mouse is working. Now I'm gonna see if the keyboard works and it is working. On the Android device, the screen resolution is 1080p 60. In order to test the 4K capability of the Mirrorbox KVM switch, I've hooked the output from my Panasonic HCX1000 into this switch and the output of this switch into my LG TV set. I'm gonna hit info and it says 2160p, which is 4K. If you don't ever wanna to touch the KVM switch, there are keyboard shortcuts for all these functions. If I hit double asterisk one, it's gonna select source one. Double asterisk two will go to source two, etc. for three, etc. for four. All the sources are in numeric order, so if I wanna to go to the previous source numerically, I can hit double asterisk page up, and if I'm on three, it'll go to two, etc. And I can do double asterisk page down, and it'll go to the next numeric source. If I'm already on source four and I go to page down, it'll cycle around to source one. If I don't wanna hear the beeps every time I change sources, I can double asterisk F11, and now when I hit double asterisk page down, it won't make any noises. At least the switch won't, your computer might. If I want to turn the beeps on again, I can hit double asterisk F11 again and the beeps come back on. There are several things that I really like about the Mirrorbox KVM switch. First, it has wide compatibility. I tested it with a newer PC, an old laptop, a Chromebook, and an Android device. It's supposed to also have compatibility with Mac. I don't have a Mac to test that. These devices output different resolutions, different frame rates, and the mirror box had no problem with that. I like the fact that it acts as a USB hub. There are four USB inputs on the front, and it outputs one USB to your selected device. Uh, I plugged in a keyboard and a mouse and a thumb drive, but you could just as easily plug in a printer a webcam or any other USB devices that are compatible with the computer that you have selected on the switch. I like the fact that it has hotkeys on the keyboard so you can situate the box away from the computer and still be able to switch between your devices. Now it is for an HDMI monitor so if you have a VGA output I used an adapter to make that work. If you have DisplayPort, again, you'll need an adapter to make it work. Overall, I'm very pleased with the KVM switch, so I'm gonna give it a Thrifty AV thumbs up. If you're interested in purchasing this switch, there is an Amazon affiliate link in the description. Thrifty AV earns a small commission with Amazon affiliate links with no additional cost to you. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Thank you to my patrons, and I'd like to single out Braden Kennedy, who recently increased his monthly pledge to Thrifty AV. Thank you very much. Stay thrifty, everyone. <laughs>